The West only has pretend heroes like Spider-Man and Spongebob. As the U.S.-backed atrocities in the Middle East get uglier and uglier, I keep thinking about something that was said by an Iranian cleric named Shahab Maradi after the U.S. assassinated Iran's immensely popular general, Qasem Soleimani, in 2020. Moradi complained that Iran can't even really retaliate for the assassination because the U.S. doesn't have any real heroes of its own like Soleimani, saying, Think about it. Are we supposed to take out Spider-Man and Spongebob? I've never seen a more incisive and withering critique of Western culture, and I probably never will. It's such an accurate statement and paints such a clear picture of what this civilization is really like that it's hard to imagine how anyone could possibly top it. There are no real heroes with popular support in the Western Empire, because everything that's truly heroic gets stomped down here, and everything that gets amplified to popularity is either vapid distraction or directly facilitates the interests of the evil empire. Our own generals are busy butchering civilians for oil and geostrategic control. Our military personnel are imperial stormtroopers. Our police are the security guards of capitalism. Our most prominent journalists are all propagandists. Our most prominent celebrities are famous because of their ability to pretend to be fictional characters doing fake things in Hollywood movies. Our most prominent artists are famous because of their ability to churn out formulaic pop songs and empty-headed bullshit. Our most widely recognized symbols are corporate logos. Our most highly regarded professionals are those who can sell Westerners the most future landfill manufactured by wage slaves in the global south. Our most well-known government leaders are those who've sold their souls to oligarchs and imperialists and can lie to the public most convincingly. The only Westerners doing truly heroic things here get thrown into prison, or murdered, or pushed into obscurity, because the only truly heroic thing anyone can do in today's world is to take a stand against the Western Empire. Those who bravely resist the U.S. war machine or make themselves inconvenient for Western empire managers don't get to become popular heroes. You don't see the Westerners who work to stop weapons shipments to Gaza being celebrated for their efforts on CNN and the BBC. You don't see anti-war activists getting Hollywood movies made about their work at least not until the wars they were protesting lie safely in the distant past. You don't see journalists who work to expose the most egregious crimes of the empire being elevated to fame and fortune. The only figures who get elevated to fame and fortune in this fake plastic dystopia are those who either actively serve the interests of the empire or who passively distract people from its abuses. Donald Trump, Elon Musk, the Kardashians, Taylor Swift, Spider-Man and Spongebob. Those are the only heroes we're allowed to have in any major way. You can have real heroes if you want, but if you tell the average Westerner their names, the first word out of their mouth will be, who? Every once in a great while, someone will sneak past the many security checkpoints into fame and begin opposing the empire, but they are always quickly demonized and marginalized by the imperial perception managers. And for every Roger Waters or Susan Sarandon, there are a thousand imposter heroes making themselves extremely convenient for the rulers of the Western Empire. This is the civilization we live in. A mind-controlled wasteland where everything is fake and stupid. The only path toward fulfillment and inner peace in such a dystopia is to dedicate yourself to tearing it down, brick by plastic brick.